Croatia builders once dominated the global market. Emphasis on once. Now times appear to be changing. The global shipping industry has been a slump, and while Korean shipbuilders have been struggling to stay afloat amid falling orders and massive losses, Chinese players are making their way into the ranks of the industry's elite. Our Kim Inji sheds light on the signs of a possible dethronement in the works. Our Korean shipbuilders' golden days almost over. For the first time ever, a Chinese shipyard has broken into the top five global players in terms of order backlog. According to UK-based Clarkson Research Services, Shanghai Wai Gaozhou Shipbuilding had an order backlog in November of just over three million compensated gross tons, an indicator of the level of shipbuilding output. That puts a Chinese company in fifth place. All of the top five positions had been held by Korean shipbuilders until now. Ranking first was Daewoo Shipbuilding and Marine Engineering with 8.2 million CGTs, followed by Samsung Heavy Industries with just over 5 million. Korean shipbuilders have been engaging in belt tightening measures after posting eye-watering losses in recent months, mainly brought on by delayed construction, cancelled orders, as well as rising costs and low global oil prices. Korea's big three logged a combined loss of over $4 billion in the first half of the year. Even more concerning is that prospects aren't looking good for next year either. The difficult situation therein will continue into 2016. There's two main factors that will have an effect, oil prices and global cargo volume. Only when oil prices start to pick up will the industry hope to see recovery signs. Analysts say that in order to maintain competitiveness, local shipbuilders need to focus on their core strengths rather than expand their business, like branching off into construction of offshore plants where they lack experience. They add that the government will also need to help small shipbuilders, as it's only a matter of time before Chinese shipyards catch up. Kim Minji, Arirang News.